see, a lot of y'all did not understand why some of us was coming to Kanye West or Ye's defense when they labeled him anti-Semitic. But now if they're coming after Kyrie Irving, y'all are starting to say, well, wait a minute. Why are all these black men being labeled anti-Semitic and especially when they're speaking up on truth or sharing their opinion? See, these so-called Jews, because we are not going to give them the benefit of being labeled something that they are not. These are white Europeans who just so happen to be Jews, who have no relation to being Semitic at all, who own the media and the entertainment industry. They weaponize the label of anti-Semitic against black men as a way to say, one, stay in your place, and two, to deflect from anyone finding out the truth or even having a discussion as to why they have so much control and power and influence and why they use it to do so many bad things. Kyrie Irving posts a documentary to his story that says from Negroes to Hebrews wake up black America and these so-called Jews call him anti-Semitic. But see, what's really happening is your anti-blackness is being exposed because why don't you want black people to wake up? See, because once black people wake up and understand that we are the true children of Israel and we understand how we got into this condition and who was a part of putting us in this condition, then the mask that you guys are hiding behind has to come off. Y'all remember how they handled Nick Cannon when he said that black people were the true Hebrews and how he aligned himself with Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan? We'll get to that. They tried to take away his shows and take away his money, but see, they're trying to do the same thing with Ye, but Ye is not going for that. And they've done it to many other black men, to Malcolm X, to W.E.B. Du Bois, to Marcus Garvey, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan, all of whom tried to unite black people and advance black people economically. They labeled Martin Luther King Jr. anti-Semitic only after he started to tell black people to boycott and economically withdraw from them. And see, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who has fought for black people for over 60 years and who was the only black man to stand up after they were assassinated black leaders and fight even harder for black people, they labeled him anti-Semitic. Remember, these are the people who had a problem with Kyrie Irving saying, wake up, Black America. The Anti-Defamation League, one of the biggest Jewish organizations ever, said that Minister Farrakhan remains the most popular anti-Semite in America. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan instructed the Nation of Islam Research Group to go and figure out why they label so many Black men anti-Semitic and what this relationship between Blacks and Jews really is. They own the movie industry that presents us as being violent and uneducated. They own the record labels that have Black men degrading Black women, promoting violence and drugs. See, Jewish people know their Hitler. Do you know yours? 